Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is what I was working on today. Finishing up the gearbox design of my 3D scanner. So this is all made to be 3D printable and it's made to have a stepper motor in the side inside, NEMA 23 with timing pulley. It's also made to have the LED light in the center like our for um, under lighting of acrylics and stuff. It's going to be hooked up to the Arduino board and then a camera. Eventually I'd like to stick the Arduino inside of here and just make one box but I, it's not there yet. So Anyway the Arduino hooks up to the camera which then hooks up to the stepper and everything it steps the motor, flashes the camera, steps the motor, flashes the camera. That's good for 3D scanning and 360 degree photography, like what I've been building this out for. Let's see, this is that top case. This is the pulley is split in half to be 3D printed. All right? And if we look up underneath it, we can see it has multiple alignment spots so that the atomic pulley's teeth will align with each other. Let's see. It's made to be bolted together and have little pins inside of it. And it connects to the stepper motor, which sits right here. Right. Then we have the bottom pulley, which is pulley split up in two so that you can 3D print it, right? And I've got a uh, prototype of this already printed off. And, um, I got another motor coming because I'm not going to rip apart my current prototype because I use the light studio right now to do all my stuff. Yep, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. The acrylic shaft sits in the middle here and rides all the way down. And then. It's clamped on here with the hose clamp. It's very snug right now, actually, which is which is fine. Let's hide this. Made to run on a six zero one six bearing, which is one of the pieces you could three D print a bearing, but I'm not I'm not working towards that. Three bearing clips hold it in place. With hex recesses for M4 nuts, and you're supposed to glue. I'm planning to glue the nuts in and then screw them down, right? And you can see the pulley. Where's the pulley body? The lower pulley body sits in here, and at the base here we have this LED light that's going in here, and it sits in the bottom recess of the cavity. Which is great for certain glasses and stuff. You need to un you need underlighting to get the right photograph photography. And then you get the main piece that you're going to print out, which has the grooves for both bolts to hold it all together. That's what these are. It has the groove for the bearing, the groove for the pulley to ride inside of, the recess for the LED puck, and it has mounting spots for the stepper motor. It is made to fit inside of a CTC 3D printer which is a MakerBot replicator dual. So if you got one that's this size which is like 11 and 3 quarters by 
almost six inches, I believe. If you got a printer that big, you should be able to print this out when we go to do our thing, or when we when we release the files, rather. Okay. Let's see, and then you got the stepper feet or the base feet here, which have recesses carved into them for the for the hex bolt that is the hex bolt which actually holds it all together right let me explain how that the hex bolt works basically it's just these holes line up with the base feet that way you can that way it will actually fit on the 3D printer and get everything inside of the box, right? Well, anyway, with this design it will allow us to take the underside of the trades box out and use it to photograph photograph 360 um, panoramas and I'm going to use it for area scanning interiors, right? One second. This video from a while back. Hang that right up. So yeah, what we've done now is I finally finished up the bottom design of the gearbox, which means I can now pull this turntable out and we'll have a and I can mount my camera on top of it so it can spin 360 and capture 3D scan areas inside of buildings, right? You can also program it to do other things, but that's my main use for it is to um, 3D scan areas and I think it might even be heavy duty enough to um, be able to stand on it and scan a person like scan a person against the back white wall but I have to make another white wall because that one's not big enough for obviously so another cyclorama but then you could just stick the inner piece that I've built and you just pull it out and use it as the same synced photography turntable studio right that's that's the idea Yeah, that way we can use this to get panos and 3D scanning of interiors, as well as scan all the other stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, um, I'll be 3D printing this out tomorrow. I've already printed out like half of it, but I redesigned this all today, like a lot of the bottom box. Then I redesigned the top shell as well. It wasn't quite right. Uh, yeah, if you like. Like this, like and subscribe. I gotta, I'm gonna release this out eventually when it's finished. Thanks.